So today we're checking out Knife Synergy's mod. This mod, I think it's been out for a bit of time, a little over six months, I believe, but I never got around to checking it out. But now we can, I really wanted to because uh, this is from the same person that keeps making all the cool Synergy mods and Mom's Knife definitely needs it. What's in the treasure room today? Mom's eyeshadows, okay. I guess it's Mother Chance, ah, who am I kidding? That's a lot better. So Knife has always been kind of iffy when it comes to Synergy's, especially early on. You know, during flash days and such. However, I mean, they, they definitely improved in synergy department, to be fair. Especially with uh, Repentance coming out. They fixed a lot of stuff. But even then, there's a lot of synergies that Mob's Knife that just, it just doesn't have or it doesn't make sense. It doesn't feel right, you know? There's a certain feeling to synergies. And whenever you get the right feeling, like, oh, that makes sense. That's exactly what the item should do, you know? But uh, Knife, in my opinion, a lot of the times, that's just not the case. I'll go to this curse room. I didn't want to do the other one, but this one is great. Hello? Thank you. Uh, let's see. Treasure room above me. Chest right here that has an eternal heart. I probably shouldn't take this yet, but whatever. There's quite a few synergies listed here, actually. There's Pop, there's My Reflection, Ocular Rift. I'll try my best to naturally come across any of these items and, you know, whatever we don't find as per usual, I'll just plug it in and be like, hey guys, what's up? Oh my god, there's a crawl space. There's no reason this should have shown up. I'll take Loki's horns. That sounds like the perfect opportunity to me, like, capitalizing, right? It also is really cool because you get a little uh, Beyblade. Now looking at this list of items, I see items like Godhead and I see items like uh, Trisagion. I don't see that many uh, Devil Room items. I, I especially don't see Brimstone, right? I mean, Brimstone already has a synergy and it's pretty cool to be fair. So I'll use this as a bit of an excuse to probably go Angels today. We have Black Hearts for this free Curse Room and it definitely paid out net positive. Thank you, what a great way to start this floor. Knife, I will say, in my opinion, and I'm sure a lot of people's others' opinions, even though they don't exactly like it, it really is the most powerful item in Isaac, offensively at least, right? Maybe not utility-wise, not defensively, but offensively, sorry. Offensively, it's, I mean, by far, it's gotta be the best in the game. It has no reason being this strong, but it, it always has been, and there's no real way to just gut it. It makes sense, you know, you unlock it by beating Satan as Isaac, and Satan used to be the absolute final boss of Isaac before, you know, they added about 17 more. I have a swarm and a gold. I gotta take the gold. Oh, that's Parasite. This is the second time actually in recent memory where <laughs> I've taken a gold item and the other one stays open, but yeah, sure, whatever. Perfection. I probably shouldn't take it, but I will. We don't even get a deal here. A little unfortunate. Uh, I'm just gonna roll HP. Uh, sure, I guess. More items that we could potentially be looking for is a uh, ball of tar apparently has a synergy for some reason. I don't know what Trisagion would do. Oh my lord, there's a lover's card. Cricket's body, proptosis, and sinus affection, as well as tech zero all have synergies. There's actually a huge list here. I destroyed men and people say mom's knife isn't the best item ever when it comes to offense. Game is squeezy. Uh, we can roll the knife piece and then move on. We also have a lover's card. I'm gonna save it. Or maybe I'll just do it as soon as I find a, a secret room. That sounds way more fun that way. Alright. Greetings to you. You turn into wafer. What? Oh yeah, that's beautiful. What the hell? Wafer in treasure room? I don't see that very often at all. Okay, well, uh, let's, let's go then. Let's go caves. Shopify. Not sponsored, by the way. <laughs> I swear, I just walked in here and I said the word shop because I was walking in a shop and that's how my brain works. I had to put something at the end of it. It just happened to be Pafai. I, you, you gotta believe me, I'm not sponsored. So a lot of things we gotta... Wow, look at this perfect flight usage. I know there's a bomb here, but I'm gonna pretend like flight was essential there. Let's play this for a bit. So we have a lover's card we want to use, right? And an angel deal we want to land. We also uh, threw away all our money in a complete instant. It was actually impressive how quickly my wallet depleted in that situation. I want to keep that charge beggar alive, maybe, but we are going to blow up that other dude. Just because it gave me such a good angel chance. Boom! Matman jump scare. I have a knife. Let's check out the other synergies that I will not be able to find naturally during this run. I know I've missed a couple. So this is pop plus knife with the mod on. This does... That was awesome. I wasn't expecting that whatsoever. I was expecting it to jump out of my own body, but the fact that it comes out the tip of the knife when it's at its apex, that is sick. And it's dependent on how much you charge the knife. Look at that. The more I charge, the more eyes come out. That's sick. My reflection as well. Boom. Where the hell did it go? What? 
It says when the knife reaches its peak, it immediately returns to you and deals damage to nearby enemies. Interesting. So maybe it's like a little bit of a splash damage right there. You can see it's kind of the same uh, sprite as Flatstone. And then with my cool eye, I shoot an ocular rift. I'm pretty sure, yeah, I like that as well. At, I love that it triggers effects at its peak, like its apex. I'll come in randomly during the video, who knows when I'll come in and show more synergies. And you know what, well, why not for the very end of the video too, I'll combine all these together and see what happens. Guppy? What? Okay, hi. I mean, sure? Yeah, I know, I'm dancing, it's the D6. I don't know if you've ever seen one before, but you actually start with it. You've been starting with it for about like, <laughs> like, like eight years, Isaac. It's been a bit. I don't know why you're so excited. Wait, hold on. There is a charge breaker I left alive, right? I think I should use lovers right now. I genuinely think I do. Also, I'm gonna do this for the bomb chest. Because I'm sure that's worth it. Absolutely. Oh my god. Oh! Poetic. Absolutely poetic on all accounts. We're gonna see what this does. Please just give me godhead aura on all of them. Yes! Oh, that's exactly what I wanted. Thank you. Why is this not just in the game? It just makes sense. <laughs> I actually really like this. Thank you. I'll get the key piece too. So does it actually apply the godhead aura? It does. It, it demolishes. Well, maybe there's a reason it's not in the game. It might be a little too powerful. Envy, you gonna drop anything for me? You're just gonna be weird. I guess you're just gonna be weird. Oh lord, there's batteries everywhere. This is the time to rig. Treasure! We're going blind. Did I just see something weird? Am I crazy? <laughs> I swear I just saw like them split in the coolest way possible. I'll take the blind here. Uh, tier rate up is actually really good here. Shops. Wow. We are just going crazy today, huh? Let's take the humbling bundle, then blow up the donation machine. That way we double all the coins that we do get. We can buy a memory card and maybe this one's juicy? Excuse me? No, it's not that juicy to be honest with you. And while I would like to roll that memory card shop, I think it's far more effective to roll the secret room. So we'll go with that play instead, starting off by defeating this potential Gideon. I don't know if it actually is. I'm hoping it's the hollow. Actually, nah, I want it to be Gideon. I want to fight Gideon in a boxing ring. A timed cage, Spider-Man style. Put us in the cage right now. I have Godhead Mom's Knife, and it isn't just cosmetic this time, Gideon. You are going down. Something to note is you can see when uh, the Parasite splits, the splitting knives do not also inherit Godhead. Uh, either maybe a balance change, or maybe that's just how they designed it, or maybe they forgot about it, but I honestly think it's better this way. Because while it would look cool, it probably really would be broken if every single single knife ever uh, just had Godhead aura around it, right? It's already dealing what feels to be triple my original damage. Uh, old bandage is always good. We take this roll and let's go roll the secret room. I feel as if there's absolutely no scenario where I do not get something good here, right? We have so many batteries, a battery bum, a mob challenge room that isn't even done yet. I'd have to be uh, so absurdly unlucky for me not to get something. It begins. Found soul. I'm, I'm curious. I don't think I'm going to take you because I prefer crystal key, but do you also have... Wow, this is broken. <laughs> Wait, this is really broken. I almost want it more than a... Uh, wow, huh. More than the crystal key. I think crystal key would be more fun overall with the potential for an ultra, but it is cool to know that lost soul would have proc there. Bada bing. Oh! oh, wow. Ooh, see, like, oh man, I actually prefer the D6. <laughs> Anything from these mushrooms? No, I, I, I'm i gonna go for another roll here. I, I have a feeling that this would actually pay out for me more. My roll personally, I like to keep it at like womb one onwards, would I be willing to drop the D6 maybe for an R key? Otherwise, I actually just prefer D6 because the gameplay is more fun in that sense. Roll it again. I got my buddy straw man. How you doing? Boom. Oh, oh my God, it actually paid out. It, it did the thing. Also, I get a free one. Boom again. Oh! Oh, the perfect play. That that was a game-winning decision right there. That That's the stuff that separates the Isaac boys from the Isaac men. Rerolling our key for even more goodness. I managed to nab myself an upgraded D6 and a rock bottom. Very beautiful stuff. I don't think I have anything else to do here. This is empty, right? Yeah, I fought for the key piece. Let's go. Yo, check out what Blood Clot does. Shoot it and it turns red, and when it's red it deals more damage. That just makes sense. I'm actually surprised this isn't in the game either. Anti-gravitation moment. What is going on here? Hello? What is this? If I let go, it goes. That is weird, and that is exactly how that should work. I don't even think it's good. I don't care. This is how this synergy should work. I love this. I have no idea how this will work. It's rubber cement. Nothing changes. What if I hit a wall? It just, it just sticks there. <laughs> Is it, is it following me? Okay, well, I mean, how else are you gonna do rubber cement? That makes sense, I guess. 
And Ball of Tar, does this just leave creep? Is that- Oh, that- that makes sense. Uh, this- this makes sense as well. What the heck? This, is this not actually how it works in game? Well, those are fun. We still have a couple more to check out. We have to do Cursed Eye, a Tech Zero, Trisagon, a couple of other things, and we have to do all of them at the exact same time. Back to the video! Still rocking a 21% planetarium chance. This will definitely pay out. Pill moment, tears down. It doesn't hurt me at all, because I own a rock that's sad. More pills, huh? You really want me to take some? Addicted is whatever lemon party I already know. Uh, we found the boss pretty early here. Let's just go straight for it, I think, right? We have the bombs in case we spawn an angel. I'll take a, a devil deal, maybe. Jude just exploded. I'm not even kidding. I, I was ready for a second phase. Where was the phase where he throws fire at me? He looked at me, knew I defeated him, and just self-imploded. All right, what's in here? Lemegaton. Uh, how about I roll these without picking them up so I still have an angel chance? Oh, that's big. Does I have the Cola have a synergy? I don't think so. Oh my god, it does. As a new one. Okay, I just thought I saw it on the list. What do you do? Oh, cool. It's like brim but temporary. Okay, that makes sense. I like that. Uh, and then yes, of course I will take that, McLeese. Are you joking me? Why would I not? I'll take PJs, but now I have to be really careful about playing well because I don't want Damocles to proc. How's about you? Dad's key. Whoa! I didn't see. I think it was the bloodshot eye that disappeared, so I don't think it was a big deal, but I forgot Damocles immediately existed five seconds later. I get evil eye. Uh, deep pockets to my left. I suppose I can check out the member card shop. Uh, we can't do anything with Forget Me Now, unfortunately. It's just gonna sit there forever. If I can land myself deep pockets, I'm sure it would pay off for itself really fast, considering it's half off. I'm a little nervous when it comes to exploring this entire place. Just because, you know, Ash Pit be Ash Pit. But with Godhead, Rock Bottom, Knife, etc. That is so cool. I think we'll be fine. I w w when Loki's horns goes out, I have control over four crosshairs. I'm controlling four knives. That is so cool. If someone wants to explain why apparently Isaac is not working on his arm strength and can't chuck bombs anymore, I'd love to find out because this is getting annoying. <laughs> like, what the hell, Isaac? Why... Why do you suck at throwing things immediately? I can't like go over there anymore. I, I can't even pick up those- those- I, I can't do it. If I go for a Damocles procs, I die next floor, I guarantee you. Why, why is he having such a hard time? Bro, you gotta hit the gym, you know what I'm saying? Well, I suppose I'll just farm for a magic mushroom, take the deep pockets, and then leave. Doesn't Liberty Cap, uh, it can proc in rooms that you, you've you already completed, right? So can I just walk around and it will work eventually? And I can just get the stats from rock bottom? Uh, I think so, because my stats went up, right? Yeah. This is uh, kind of on that hella min maxi rock bottom type stuff, but sometimes I like to do it, so I don't mind. I'm just gonna walk around for a bit and see if it procs. That is so weird that I have access to like four crosshairs. I am not used to that whatsoever. It's feeling unnatural, but it's definitely sick, especially when they start splitting too. What was that? That was awesome. What? That was destruction, and I think I procced uh, either- I, that might have been mini mush, right? That gave me speed plus range. I'll play you. There's my sixth play. Do you need seven? No, you got it. Oh, wow. Uh, should I roll this? I kind of want to roll it. Boom. Sanguine Bond. I will actually take this. That's actually really good. And then False PhD works really well with PH- or sorry, not PhD. You know the one. The rock thing, that's sad. Let's grab this crystal key, and now that I'm thinking about it, I might go for an even bigger play. Let's take this deep pockets for now, right? What if I pay 10 cents on that crane game we saw earlier? I mean, if it pays out, that's two items. Two item reroll is better than one in the Forget Me Now treasure room, right? So a little bit of strategy applying here. A bit of a gamble. It'd be less if I could actually get that nickel, but that one's never- Okay, it's ended, but goodbye. Bada bing, bada boom. I got glass cannon, we move on. Go next floor! All right, let's go curse room first. We got dank depths. It can be a little bit scary here, but it isn't the worst. We just get a bunch of money from Pandora's box if we use it here. There's no way I'm taking it with me any further, and honestly, I do appreciate the money. In combination with Humbling Bundle, we managed to land ourselves what looks to be 35 cents just from that. That's insane. Using sack altered wouldn't do anything right now, right? Oh, goodbye to every single swarm ever known. Wait, that is a cool synergy, right? You get swarm progress by doing a room. Look right there, see? So if you have swarm and then sacrificial altar, you can just farm your flies back. You just get a bunch of money. That was a really cool synergy, actually. Uh-oh. 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 Okay, it's time to run. All right, now priority is uh, find anything that has anything to do with extra lives because I cannot die. I will actually scream. 
It's happened so many times in the past. I'm doing nothing currently other than clearing rooms with my brain turned off and just like I'm looking intently at it. It knows I'm staring at it. It's freaking me out, dude. I'll take the 120. I don't have any time to do anything. Let's just go. I'm now in panic mode. We try and complete the run and I check out the synergies later. Get me out of here. Immediately, let's go in here. Uh, I, I'm just gonna bet that this is the best play because I have no time to really think about it. Boom, do it. There you go, we spawn stuff. And then maybe we can roll. Do we have a roll? Let's come back. I have enough time to do that, I think, right? Uh-oh, maybe not. I don't think so. I'm just gonna take this stuff. Let's go. No time to bait. I'll, I guess I'll just leave my D6 for the double room that I might get. Cool, I got it, perfect, see it works out. Let's go, uh, and then you, and then Death Scythe. I I'm gonna go for a synergies, Guppy's eye is cool, Abaddon is okay. No extra lives from the devil room, I'm still panicked, but we are moving forward very quickly. We weren't able to land a planetarium, which sucks, that does mean that we missed out on at least one good, uh, maybe potential item. But with Damocles proccing, I, I think we'll be fine. The amount of items we will be getting instead is so absurd, it doesn't really matter. Will they be synergy based? I don't know, we've been pretty lucky about the synergy specific items on this mod actually today. Sometimes I go through and I can't find literally everything, <laughs> but uh, today the game's been actually really nice and I appreciate you game, thank you. I guess I could D100. <laughs> Wait, I could do 100. Would that be kind of meh though? Because that would get rid of the mom's knife. I don't want to do that, no. I, I, okay, by definition, I could do 100 myself and just be free. Right, but like, then what's the point of me doing the whole knife thing? Oh, I started with knife. I see you spinning, Damocles. You gotta stop it. I know you're taunting me. Blow, insta-die. Uh, divorce papers, sure. Boom, another one. Dead cat. Oh. Lump of coal has a synergy, I know. So we have to take that. We actually just genuinely have to. Roll this in the backstabber, that is thematically appropriate. Let me see what Lump of Coal does. Would you look at that? Lump of Coal does exactly what you think it would do. <laughs> Could you believe that it doesn't do that in the normal game? The further knife is away from you, the more damage it does. Simple. I guess it really is very absurdly good with knife, considering when is knife ever close to you? You're supposed to toss it out. But still, I just prefer the fact that the synergy works over just like a cosmetic, oh wow, it's kind of a dark knife. Ooh, what could it mean? Nothing? I never I wouldn't have guessed that. <laughs> Listen, all right. Let's be real here. We all know that I'm freaking out about Damocles and no one else can stop looking at it. It's just spinning and twirling and shining and it's right there. But we have to take our mind off of it, right? We can't think about it all day. We gotta focus on the now. And right now, I'm gonna fight It Lives. We don't get a deal. We get Hush. We don't get Hush because I walked out of the room. Oh my god. I was 30 seconds to the- Whatever, let's go. <laughs> I was right that I did not know I was genuinely straight up on time. I suppose it only matters to me, right? You guys are gonna see everything. It would have been nice to go to Hush, but I, if anything, I, I'm realizing I probably don't want to spend time doing that entire Hush fight, right? I will probably explode and die. So now we're in speedrun mode, where I, uh, I'm just gonna walk around, maybe find an item that works with the new knife synergies. Maybe I won't. It doesn't matter. I want to just win. And you guys will get to see everything, and uh, I'll see you later too. This also just shows you how good Knife is. Like, I, this was a completely just broken run from the beginning. I didn't need any synergies. The synergies definitely helped. The fact that I got Rock Bottom probably helped. Parasite Godhead. But, I mean, Knife alone itself is just carrying. Do I really have time? Do I really have time? Would I ever? Yes, I have to. I have Wafer. Come on. This would be completely ironic if the Damocles, like, fell on me. Please don't. Oh! I don't have anything I can do here. Star Bethlehem's good. Uh, let's just take it and then find it. We'll combine it with Rock Bottom. There you are. Thanks for the big boy damage up. Holy. It's spinning. Every time it spins, I have a feeling like there's a 5% chance that it was going to fall, but it didn't. Like every spin. I know that's not how it works, but God, does it feel like it. Three, two, one, go. That's not how you count. Hello? Uh, the moment I said three, I realized something was wrong. <laughs> I knew deep in my heart, like the moment I said three, I said to myself, something is not right here. The vibe is not correct. All right, at least we made it to the dark room. Damn, look, he's being nice. I'm sorry, I got another knife. If what? Uh, sure, I guess this might be just like 2020 or something, right? I don't believe these have any synergies. 
Freezer baby is conjoined. We don't really need that though. Let's just keep going. So we have Cursed Eye here, right? And what's interesting is that it actually gives you a 1.3 times damage up. So this will deal way more damage. Jeez. But I can get TP'd if I'm charging and get hit. Just like how Cursed Eye always works. There you go. And then we also got our boy Soy Milk here, which just makes it so it just instantly goes. I'm just holding down the button here and it's just fully charging, which just feels great to do. There's also Eye of Belial, which actually gives gives you homing and a bit of extra damage after it passes through an enemy. This is how this should work, dude. This works perfectly. Look at this. Boom. Tech Zero, I was wondering how it works, but it, it works pretty much just like technology. And I mean, that makes sense, right? I, I don't see any other way you can really do this synergy. At least it exists and it feels good. Trisagion? I don't know what this does. What? It even makes the brimstone sound. <laughs> does, it, does it do a lot of damage? Oh, it sure does. Holy moly. Crooked's body is pretty simple too, just like Swan's Cheers when you hit an enemy. I mean, this just makes sense as well. It works with Brim, so it's good that it works here as well. I actually had to go to a different, like just harder boss to showcase this off because everyone kept dying too fast. But uh, Sinus Infection just kind of procs Booger up there, you can see him. He's got a booger on him. Proptosis reverses the formula. I fully charge it, it's like I'm doing nothing to the mulligan. But I, I, what if I just short charge it? Boom, instantly dead. <laughs> And then this is what it looks like when you combine everything! This could go pretty hard. I'm staring at Damocles less and less. I'm beginning to become very trusting of them. That's when they backstab you, but oh well, I'm, I guess I'll fall for it. I'm, I'm beginning to like Damocles. He knew he was setting up the joke. There's a curse room to my left? Okay, thanks. Crystal key? Uh, there's nothing good here unless these are 48 hour energies, which I actually don't know if you can even get 48 hour energy with false PhD. Like if you can't, what would it turn into, right? But uh, I, I, I'm I, beginning to chill out. I don't think I'm going to get any more stats up. I was saving the strength for a big play, but I, I suppose what I can just do is stand in the star of Bethlehem and use strength right now. I don't think I'm going to land myself a polyphemus or anything. So boom. Thank you. Apparently the lamb is above me. <laughs> What a play! What is that? Open it. Thank you. Roll it. D100. I'm rolling. Oh! Nothing good. Nothing good. I, I screamed because I was excited about the fact that Sacred Orb is there. And it's in the secret room? I have to. This is like, this is poetic if I can pull this off. Please, just give me like a death certificate. I'll take, I'll take a one up. That's in the secret pool, right? Let's go in the opposite direction because we know the lamb is up there, right? Just because Star Bethlehem can cut through rooms, like secret rooms, and show you where uh, specifically the boss is. This was probably going to be our last roll, but but I'm 100% gonna do it right here. Come on. Oh, really? No, it could have been legendary. Okay, let's just go fight the boss then. I realized I didn't even bomb the angel for Mega Satan. You know how I act when there's Damocles on the loose, dude. Is that everything? Okay, okay. Well, you know what? I have my fun and you guys got to see synergies. <laughs> I don't know when. I'll probably just plop it at some random point, but GG. Actually a really fun mod.